Hey family, it's Dr. Johnson and Happy Therapeutic Tuesday. This week our topic is suicide prevention and I just wanted to give some tips that help you to help someone who is in need at this time or who may be feeling suicidal or having suicidal thoughts. So one thing that we can do is let them know that we care about them. I consider check-ins as a method of letting someone know that you care. You know, checking in, how are you? How are you feeling? Do you need anything? Just randomly, um, just texting them, you know, just trying to see where they are mentally. That is one of the biggest things that we as a people need today. We need to know that somebody cares about us. Somebody actually thinks about us from time to time. And you don't know that that how are you doing question can open up to a mouthful or a spill of what they're feeling in the inside. So that could be like your door opening. Another thing is empathizing with them. A lot of people go through situations that we may not see that is an issue or we may feel that you know, you shouldn't be dealing with that in that manner, but for that person, that's a lot. So empathize with them. You know, that lets them know that, you know, somebody kind of understands me. Another thing is not being judgmental. You know, we all have our own path in life and we all handle stuff differently. So judging them would not allow them to trust you and open up to you or to see that you care enough. So don't be judgmental. Be understanding, empathize, and let them know that you care. Help them to focus on people who care about them in that moment. Who cares about you? Who do you care about? Let's talk about them. Help them find reasons to live. Why are they here? What's their sense of purpose? And let them know that they are cared for and they are loved. Because being desired or feeling like you belong in this certain community of whatever your choice is gives so much hope because I, I'm wanted. I belong. I'm cared for. So we want to give those people that type of energy and reassurance every day. So I hope that these tips help and I hope you stay tuned for the rest of the week as we continue to talk about suicidal prevention.